You're now with Bob and Paul from Unique Home Solutions, and you guys just had a, a, a contest. Yeah, we just had our winter sweepstakes, and Rondi and Angela Hughes from right here in Indianapolis won it. It's kind of cool. They inherited the house, hadn't been worked on in about 50 years, and they're Ooh. looking forward to get it all fixed up this spring. <laughs> But now that contest is over, okay. we've got another one starting. Another one already. All yeah. right. Our Labor Day home makeover. All right. And your only qualifications, you live within 80 miles, you can sign up online, mm -hmm. you can call however you want to enter, and you have to be over 21 and a homeowner. Sure. So we encourage you to sign up, and um, hopefully you'll win next time. <laughs> like I said, there may be a conflict of interest. We'll work that out if, if, <laughs> if I do happen to win. What, what's, 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 the, what, what is the, what's the prize this time? Um, another $10,000 $10, of free home improvements. To be spent. However they However want. We've they got want. a multitude of products. They can okay. get roofs, they can get baths, they can get windows, siding, gutters, any combination. Any combination, up. 10 grand, man. That, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to sign up if I can. But we're, we're here to talk, uh, uh, looks like we're going to talk roofs today. And this, upon initial inspection, I thought was good old-fashioned asphalt shingles. That's kind of the look, but that's not the product, right? Absolutely. It's, it's completely different than your typical asphalt shingle. Okay. What so is you, this? I'm sorry. Oh. Your typical asphalt shingle, right. uh, there's not a lot to it. I mean, it sure, yeah. tears rather easily. <laughs> yes. and obviously, that's the And they need repaired rather rather frequently that way, especially with the weather we get here in Indiana. Absolutely. Well, the average life of span of a roof, well, asphalt roof, is about 12 years. Okay. Ooh. So. And this is, this is, is that actual steel? That's yeah, it's actual steel. steel. Okay, I'm going to turn it this way so we can get a shot of that. I think probably when, when if you say steel roofs to people, they probably think that, Farmhouse yeah, that seemed, yeah, which yeah. which in some applications looks really cool. So, what are the advantages to a steel roof over good old fashioned asphalt? Well, obviously, other than the, the obvious there, yeah. um, <laughs> with our with our metal roofing, we've got actual granules that are applied with a special adhesion process. Okay. So you don't have the painted look of the typical metal roof. Right. So it does have to be repainted. Mm -hmm. And see, with ours, you don't have the granule loss. That you do of a typical shingle. Every time I, I'm going up on the roof just to get a frisbee or ball or something, I can hear that fall down into my gutters. So I'm like, all right, I just made my roof a little thinner. <laughs> Absolutely. The other benefit to this type of product, it's got a Class A fire rating. Oh, okay. So is, it's a lot safer for your home. Is is that something that, depending on your, you might that might qualify for some sort of uh, insurance? Depending on rebate? the insurance company. Okay. Um, one of the better benefits of it, especially in Indiana, it's got a Class 4 hail rating, which is the strongest hail rating available for any type of product. I was, I was just going to ask, but is it, people might be thinking, well, steel roof, it's got to be loud then, if something... Typically, but, no, not like, see, uh, your typical barn metal roof, mm -hmm. it'll ting when something yeah, hits it. Yeah. This one doesn't do that. It's okay. just got the same sound as a regular asphalt shingle. All right. How, how, how do these go on? Okay, basically, well, it's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Oh, all right. There's parts and pieces that go along with it that they just start at the bottom and kind of work their way up, okay. and they're, they're screwed into the decking. Um, the, other than your typical metal roofs, we don't have to put wood pieces underneath and screw into the wood. We can actually go right to the decking. Oh, all right. So it's more, it's more, uh, more stable wind-wise. Uh, wind it's got 110 mile an hour wind rating. Oh, man, that's okay. That should be plenty for, for, for any, Central Indiana. In terms of somebody, uh, the application, would it just go right over the top of an existing asphalt, or would that have to come off preferably? Or We only do tear-offs. Okay. Uh, the way we look at it, there's no way you can really do a roof properly mm -hmm. unless you go down to the original deck sure. and see what you got. Most of the time, we end up having to replace some rotted wood, so it's well, kind of yeah. foolish to go over top Couldn't of that. do that anyway. Okay. So, what's, what's with the cute house? Okay. <laughs> this is a product that a lot of people don't even know exists. It's called a, a green energy barrier. It's environmentally, excuse me, environmentally friendly, and basically what it's designed to do. If I've um, got a heat test over here, okay, and with these two thermometers right now, we're at 64 degrees over here with cellulose insulation and 71 degrees with fiberglass. All right, we take this off and apply this in there, and you're going to notice that. Well, let it move up a couple degrees here. These will kind of rise up rapidly. Sure, because they have it. Mm -hmm. So. This one's already at 72, and this one's at 66. We'll put this in here. Now, what you'll notice over the next couple minutes as I talk a little bit about this product. It's already going down. Yeah, it's, it's not going to change. See, people will insulate their walls and their ceiling and think they've done a jo the job properly. Right. Well, it's only kind of fixing half the problem because we lose energy a lot of different ways in the okay. house. What this does, and it, it basically su supplements the other insulation to make it a complete insulated home. Yeah. Kind of like, it, the, without having a green energy barrier in your home, it's actually kind of like leaving half your windows open all year round. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Well, it, it, like I said, it went down a little. Now, now, now it's holding steady. I've, well, I've gone up into my attic for, you know, chasing out things <laughs> that aren't supposed to be there. And I can't, I can't believe all the heat that is up there that I think I, I paid for once. Right. But, but isn't helping me or my family at all. How, um, it, and that's as simple as just 
Uh, what's the installation process for that? Uh, we apply it to the rafters. It's okay. secured to the rafters. It's a perforated product, so it breathes. Okay. And that's one of the big differences. So you've got some inferior products out there. They're basically just cardboard with a foil coating foil on it. Yeah. And again, they tear very easily. Mm -hmm. And then you've got other products that they can secure that are perforated, but they also tear, tear very easily. easily. With this product, it tears. So once it's installed up there, it's up there for good. I know it probably it, it depends on the particular job and estimate, but, but what's the what's the cost on something like that? It, you know, that's it just depends on the size sure. of the house. It's all done by square footage, mm -hmm. and every house is different. A yeah. lot of you. I'm sorry. And it will add a lot of life to your roof, plus make your house more comfortable. In California, states like that, they're requiring some kind of underlayment like that. Oh, really? Put a new roof on. So I, I, I guess I guess understand how how it helps. The roof, just because you don't have the fluctuation. Well, you don't have the fluctuation in temperatures, okay. so it doesn't cause the granules to expand and contract, and especially and, on an and asphalt. End up in my gutter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and some, then you got to clean the gutter. Exactly. I got so many. Get the I got ladder more, out. I got more granules in my gutter than I actually have on my shingles. But uh, uh, so we if, can fix that. if somebody somebody's interested in more information, we start with the website that we always talk about and have a uh, uh, link to on IndyStyle.tv. Or they could call personally. He'd be okay. happy to come out and see him. And if they call, mention the show. He'll give them an extra five percent off. Yeah, so schedule the appointment in the daytime so he doesn't have to stay up late. We'll give him a $50 <laughs> gift card. <laughs> Man, you're like Santa. Throw that in with the uh, Labor Day giveaway. This is definitely something to consider.